Hello, Natasha. Hello. You are such a breath of fresh air oh. walking in here with your pink. <laughs> By the way, she did not come here with a Maserati. <laughs> And she'll tell us a reason just now. <laughs> but uh, Natasha, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, before you tell us why you don't have the Maserati here, let's first tell our <laughs> viewers uh, more about your journey in the trade. Uh, so, I would say my journey started maybe from the love of the British motoring magazine, mm -hmm. uh, Top Gear mm -hmm. and Formula One. Mm -hmm. That's where my love for cars actually started. So Jeremy Clarkson? 100%. Okay. Okay. 100%. <laughs> so like it's so fascinating, the specifications of different cars, how a small specification change or difference in a car makes a car either the best or the second best. Mm -hmm. so, love yeah, that. I think that's how it started. But uh, on, from my career's point of view, I actually started uh, experiencing more of the motoring industry uh, through uh, auditing. Mm -hmm. I was a psycho audit clerk at one of the accounting firms and uh, Maserati was actually one of our clients. Look, Natasha, you accepted your nomination knowing that this is a platform that empowers, uh, educates, uplifts women in the motoring trade. Yes. How do you feel about this platform? Uh, it's actually, it's a great initiative. Mm -hmm. It's a platform that I actually think is helping changing the narrative. Mm -hmm. Motor industry is actually well known for it being a male dominated industry. Absolutely. So I actually believe this initiative is great. Uh, it's actually acting as a catalyst to mm -hmm. the uh, transformative economic growth through women. Absolutely. So it's something I actually stand for and support the vision and the mission. It's mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. So it's what's something process. that you as a as an individual um, you know are proud of and why? Uh, firstly I'm a woman in a male in a so-called male dominated industry. Mm -hmm. It's something that I'm really proud of mm -hmm. and like I say it helping the whole movement to empowering women. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm aiding to that in trying to excel in the yes. position that I'm actually in. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm actually proud of that and the courage and personal growth it actually brought mm -hmm. because it's it's not an easy industry I must mm -hmm. say but I loved it. I've grown. Mm -hmm. I've grown courage. I have led uh, immense like a lot of information about the motoring industry. So I'm really proud of the person that I've become oh, through Natasha. the industry. No that's amazing and certainly <laughs> you should be proud of that. Um, how do you find the strength and you know the courage to face those days that you just don't want to smile? <laughs> um, very true. Life is not always good. Mm -hmm. Not every day is a good day. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I have an amazing team, mm -hmm. both at work and both at home. Mm -hmm. The family at work is very supportive. So, in as much as a day might be bad, we always try to turn the lemons into the lemonade. Yeah. So <laughs> system is amazing and it's something that I actually uh, that keeps me going now for the hundreds of young especially women of color yeah. that are sitting at home watching you uh, a woman that works as a financial manager in a leadership position for Maserati <laughs> <laughs> what advice can you give to them uh, in terms of joining the motoring trade okay uh, the sky's the limit to be very mm -hmm. honest uh, with your organization, we should always show up and show off. Mm -hmm. uh, with passion and dedication, you can be anything. You can do anything, mm -hmm. no matter how hard it can be. Absolutely. Yes. Well, Natasha, <laughs> thank you for joining our movement. Thank you for being a part of um, an initiative where we pay it forward and give back to the females in our community to be empowered. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're you welcome. <laughs> Ladies, um, in light of the conversation that Natasha and I just had, as you can see, I am beaming um, from ear to ear here because it's so exciting to have um, a, an empowered woman from a supercar brand in studio with me. Uh, I, I just want to read these two quotes that reminds me of her. Um, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And I think she is a perfect example of that. I also want uh, to read this quote by George Eliot. It's never too late to 
to be what you might have been so it doesn't matter how old you are if you dream about or have dreamt about something in your younger years it's never too late to make those dreams come through it is so important to step outside uh, you know your comfort zone and unlock the extraordinary so embrace the unknown for uh, that's where growth and potential resides. I also want you to know that if you believe in yourself uh, and your ability to overcome challenges and to achieve the unthinkable, you will achieve. Embrace discomfort as a catalyst for breakthroughs and adventure awaits beyond your comfort zone. So let courage guide your path. I want to end off with my quote from my guru. His name is Satguru. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And with that being said, I would like to remind you that the question should never be who's going to let me, it should always be who's going to stop me.